Hello, great resolutions. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to make this birthday flyer in Photoshop. So if you're ready, let's dive right into the video. First thing, we're going to rename this as um, project as birthday flyer. Then the next thing, okay, for this project, I'm using an 8 by 8 inches, okay, for my width and for my height. So you can as well do the same, okay, so 8 by 8 is cool. Then I leave it at RGB mode since I'm not going to print this project. But if you are going to print yours, you can go right ahead and use CMYK, all right? But since I'm not printing it just for social media, so I'll, I'll leave it at RGB mode, all right? So the next thing I'm going to do, I'll leave other column um, settings the way they are. And I click create. Okay, and by the way, these are the documents I'm using for the project. Okay, so I'll leave a link to these documents in the description so you can go right ahead and use them. Okay, so the next thing, the first thing we're going to do, we're going to drag our background into or photoshop so this is the background version for this project okay we drag it right here into photoshop okay i click okay then the next thing i'm going to do is um okay before i proceed let me rename this as um project or oh, sorry background all right that's background okay then i'm going to draw three rectangles so i'll go to my rectangle to right here okay and okay so i draw a, rect a rectangle like so all right so i want the edges to be a bit rounded so right here under my properties tab right here and show that this icon is checked and then because um if this icon is checked it means whatever changes you make on this rectangle would affect all four corners all right so I'm going to um, increase this to something like, okay, I think 100, 105 is okay. Then I'll change the background to something like a white or a little bit of off-white. Okay, something like this. Uh, like a, a light pink or something. Okay, so that is okay. And then um, let me resize the rectangle a bit. Okay, I think this is, this is okay. Okay, then I'm going to duplicate this rectangle by pressing Alt and click and drag. Okay, and I duplicate again. So we have three rectangles. Okay, for this middle one, I'm going to increase the length a bit. I'm going to increase the length a bit, like so. Okay, then uh, just add, take this one to be a bit close. Just reduce the gap a bit. I do same for this other rectangle right here. Okay. So I'm going to group these three rectangles. Rectangles. All right. So I'm going to click the first layer, hold my Shift key, click the last layer, and I press Ctrl G to group them. Okay. So I rename this as rectangles. All right. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to give this um, rectangles a bit of a stroke. So I go to my blending options right here. All right, then I go to stroke. Okay, I give it a, something like a turquoise color. All right. Um, okay, something like so, a turquoise color, dark. All right. This is this is okay by me. I can bring it down a bit so it will be a bit visible. All right. So I also want to duplicate this process. Instead of um, repeating the same process for each of these rectangles, I just go to the first one. Okay. I go to then I right click on that layer and I select copy layer style. So I go to the other two rectangles and I paste to duplicate the same effect. I go to the last one and I paste as well. Okay, so I can take it up a bit like so. All right, now with the layers uh, with the rectangle folder selected, I'm going to transform or rather I'm going to skew these rectangles a bit. Okay, I'm, I'm going to tilt them them towards um tilt them upwards all right so to do that first of all i select the rectangle layer and i press ctrl t on my keyboard to transform i right click and i go to skew so i hold my shift key then where i have this double where i have this for um this square here at the middle okay i click and i drag it upwards just to tilt it up a bit all right so i drag i bring it down i can resize my rectangle just okay first of all you click okay and then you can resize your rectangle if it's too large. All right, I think this is fine. Let me increase the length a bit, just adjust it further down. All right, 
so I think it's okay so the next thing we're gonna do is to import our image all right so we go to file and embed okay then double click on the image to import our image now ensure that the image is above the rectangles just as you can see right here so I'm going to rename this as image okay so ensure that your image is above the rectangles layer and on the image layer you right click and, sel and you select create clipping mask good okay so as you can see we have clipped the image straight into the rectangles like so this is a beautiful effect you can adjust the shape of the image uh, you can adjust the image a bit so that it to be properly positioned in the rectangles all right you can enlarge it i think this is okay cool or right, let me re reduce it a bit further all right so the next thing we're gonna do is um all right so we're done with this we've successfully clipped the image now the next thing we're gonna do is to start adding our text okay so the first thing i'm gonna do i'm gonna take my ellipse tool right here okay like so I go to my ellipse tool, I hold my shift key and I draw an ellipse, something like this right here. Of course, I don't want to fill, so I go to no fill like this. Then um, I want an outline, okay? So I go to where I have this just beside the fill um, option. Then I click, I choose any color. I go for the same color I chose earlier, use the turquoise, good. Then. I, I go to the line options here. I want sort of a dotted line, so I click that or a dash line. Then I go to where it has where I have zero pixels, increase it to let it be visible. Okay, so I think 13 is 12.87 is cool. Alright, so I click OK. Alright, so the next thing I'm gonna do is to add a text inside the ellipse. So I'm gonna add um the day and the month so i click i take my text tool by pressing t on my keyboard or clicking the the t icon here and then i press or i type 20 okay 20. i change the font to either um a montserrat okay i think a montserrat font is cool all right so i go for a montserrat medium okay it's okay i drag it right into the ellipse like this then I duplicate the layer the, the text layer and I type the month June okay but for this one I'm gonna go for a little bit of a bold typeface so I go or I go for a semi bold and then for the tracking I want it to be zero okay so I click it and I drag it right into the ellipse something like this okay something like this okay let me take this one up a bit let me give it a drop shadow okay so i right click on the layer and i go to blending options and i select a drop shadow okay i okay so go for okay very visible spread all right uh, okay so i click okay then i just um, go to the layer and select copy layer style then i paste it where I, on the layer of the 20 so i paste it right there to repeat the process so we are done with that so I can rename, I can group this and as uh, my date. Okay, so Control G, and I rename it as date. Okay, good. Then the next thing I'm going to do is that. Um, all right, so I'm going to duplicate this folder. Okay, so I right click on the date folder and I select duplicate folder or du duplicate group rather. So I can rename this as plus one. Okay, so I drag the folder right here. Alt Ctrl Z. Okay, hold my shift key. Drag the folder right here. Like so I can reduce it a bit. Alright. Then I change let me get rid of 
one of the alphabets or the uh, words and then can change this to plus one plus one all right shift plus one all right so i expand it a bit like so then i click to drop it and so let me let me reduce this a bit further like so all right so we're good to go so i'm sure you're having value from this video if you are please give this video a like and share this video all right so thanks for supporting my channel all right so the next thing we're going to do right here is to add the name of the client all right okay so i go once again to my text tool right here okay and i type the name jennifer all right so um let me use a lighter typeface for the jennifer something light let me go for a light then okay this son this is a sonim the last name should be a bit of a bold for a semi bold and okay i think this is okay then let me reduce the tracking all right so i okay so i bring it all the way down right here then i control t to transform then i go to skew and i tilt it a bit like so all right okay so i'm sure you are enjoying this video this is how you design a birthday flyer in photoshop okay so the next thing i'm going to do is that i'm going to import or uh, bring in my decoration effect okay um so i go to file then i go to place embed then i select this okay so i'm going to rename it as text as uh, decoration or decor just short form all right so i change this color to white go to blending options and i select color overlay as um, white like so then i expand it let it fill up the entire canvas okay like so then i go to i reduce the opacity so i go to where i have opacity take it to about um 30 something maybe 30 okay about 20 okay let me take it to about um 15. i think it's okay 15 is okay now so i'm going to um select um i'm going to create a masking layer on the decor so that i can brush off a bit of um a, a bit of the decoration from the design because it's looking very very busy so i go to my brush tool now ensure that um your foreground color is set to black so i can just brush off some of this from the from the image right here okay so brush some of this okay okay then i brush some of this right here some of this as well okay so the next thing we're going to do is that we're going to add our text to to the design a bird a happy birthday text okay so to do that once again go to our text tool right here and then I select or oh, I type the word happy birthday. All right, so we drop that. But for this font, I'm going to use um, a font, a sort of a curly font, Cushion Script. Okay, I like this font. So this font, font I'm going to use. So I expand it a bit. All right, let me increase the tracking take it to a 25 or uh, let's go for a 50 okay this is not bad all right this is cool so i'm, I'm going to add an outer a, a drop shadow to this let let the text um, pop out so i'm going to go for a drop shadow all right and um yeah distance okay the spread is okay like so let me increase the text a bit something like this all right 
all right so the next thing we're going to do we're going to add another decoration effect so um I, I come to the folder and i right click this and i select open in photoshop all right so this is a, an amazing decoration effect that you can add to your design so, okay but i want just this first one okay so what i'm going to do is that i'm going to take my marquee tool right here okay and i'm going to select this one okay drop my market tool and i press ctrl j to duplicate it okay then so i click this sorry about that I click it, uh, I click and I drag it into my work area, like so. All right, like this. Okay, then I'll let me rename it as Decor Tool. Okay, so I'm going to change the color to white. So I right click and I select Blending Options, and then I go to my color overlay right here and change it to white. You can tweak you can tweak other colors and see which best okay would fit but i think white white is just the perfect choice all right and then i click ok click ok take this up a bit and that's why you can also take this up a bit all right so this is how you design a birthday flyer in for the shop so i'm sure you had value from this video if there's any part of this video that is not clear to you or you have questions from this tutorial please feel free to leave your questions and comments in the comment section and of course i will attend to them as soon as possible all right so i'm sure you had value from this video if you did please give the video a like share the video with your friends and also subscribe to my channel for more amazing graphic design and internet tips tricks and tutorials so till i see you in my next video take care and stay safe